open till it shatters through the ocean. I want to make shock waves. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, and other from animals, this is Akrani, and welcome back to episode 27 of Omni Factory The Quest. Now, it has been far longer than I ever intended to get back to this series, but we are back at long last, and we are going to set to work. Last time, we got started on the process for making a digital mob simulation. But there's a little bit more we need to do. Since it can't be powered from the Greg Tech power, it has to be powered from the, uh, from the Steam Dynamo. So we're gonna have to work that out. Move the Steam Dynamo and start rearranging our power supply. Now to go ahead and get that going, I'm making more conductive energy conduits. Specifically, I'm making six. That gives us a total of eight. And then, oh, that, ooh, this looks new. The themes are different. Quest lines. There's no description yet. Quest lines, the beginning. Oh, the, the quest book looks cool. Not gonna lie. I mean, this looks really good. Uh, my compliments to whoever remade this. So we need blank data models, which are a lot of things. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and work on getting the dynamo moved. Because I think that's going to be the first major step. We need to get power going here. We need a pickaxe. And I'm not sure if this keeps its energy supply or loses it, but either way. Now, I've thought about putting another conductive iron line right here, but I'm not sure if creating a loop like that will cause that to explode. So I don't think I'm going to do that. Instead, I'm going to use that space for the torch. Now, we just set everything back up as before. No, that's not it. It needs to be pointed in the right direction, too. Otherwise, we won't be able to get the power out of it. Okay, right, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a conductive iron conduit there and do that. I think that worked. Yeah, and it actually is working. All right. I'm um, not sure that's supposed to be what happens, but now let's drop in the simulation chamber. And hey, presto, we have power. I think I need to bring some more coal down. Yeah, hey, presto. All right. Do I have more? Yes, I do. Oh, kitty. My kitty knows she's not supposed to be standing on my computer, yet she insists on doing it anyway, and sometimes she even turns it off. So I have to keep an eye on that when she does it, but uh, now we are really running through the power here. That thing is going to take forever and a day to charge. It's a good thing I put in several units of coal here. In fact, it's at maximum output right now, and even then, it's going to take forever to charge this thing. I almost wish I could tap into the CEF here for a moment, pull some of its power out to charge that. Alright, now that that's done, let's get to work on this blank data model. So we need fine gold wire, a circuit, and some pulsating mesh. Okay. Do I have any circuits left? I might not. I do not. Okay, so we need to make a primitive circuit. 
Why am I looking up the recipe? Okay, vacuum tubes, resistors, red alloy cable. Okay. So I need some red alloy. And I'm gonna go ahead and make plenty. Of course, for now, we have to be careful how much power we use, because a lot of power is going to be going into the simulation chamber, not necessarily into the CEF. See, because that drops our... That drops how much power we're getting considerably. But that gives us plenty of red alloy for a while. That into red alloy cable, which is not hard. I only have eight rubber sheets on me, so there we go. Eight red alloy cable. Is that my circuits box? No, that's my hulls box. Well, that's, yeah, my hull box. Okay, that is my circuits box. So I have the red alloy cable, I have the circuit boards, and I can make wrought iron plate fairly easily. I just need to take some wrought iron down. And slam it into the compressor. And once we do that, we have the wrought iron plates. Alright, now for the resistors and the vacuum. Fine copper wire, I'm pretty sure. I have glass pane, which is good, but I think I have to make a little bit more. Yeah, I guess to make four of them. I didn't have to grab the seven that I already had, because uh, I just redid it. Ah, no, that doesn't go in there. That does go in there, though. So as does the as does the leather. So vacuum tubes. All right, we need paper, and we need yep fine copper wire. But we need more fine copper wire than we have to make four circuits. We actually need twelve. So, hmm, and I need paper, of course I have paper, paper is good, paper is go, I think I also need carbon dust, which is just ground coal, but uh, we'll get to that in a moment here. I think two copper is going to be enough, I don't know, one actually would have been plenty, I forget that that makes four fine copper wire. And I think that's what we're going to have to do for the gold as well, because we're going to need fine gold wire for the actual product. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. How are we doing on power? Not bad. Go ahead and get some gold wire, and then we'll make fine gold wire. Of course, the cows are mooing away. I need to get another farm started of some description. There we go. Now we're going to have fine gold wire. We're going to have eight. All right, let's get the rest of the circuit done. I think I need to grind up some coal. Actually, I have two. I have a working mortar barely. 44 durability. Ouch. That takes it down to 34. All right, let's get the resistors made. Coal, paper, copper wire. That makes six. I think that uses a bit much of my paper though, because I need to make four vacuum. Yeah. Alrighty. Um, recipe. I just make three sugar cane into three paper. Go ahead and make 24 sugar cane. 
into three paper. And it gives me plenty of paper. Tubes, the copper wire, the paper, vacuum tube. All right, now, hot iron plates, coated circuit boards, resistors, vacuum tubes, and red alloy cable. Two primitive circuits, awesome. All right, it's starting to come together. I have the pulsating meshes carbon mesh, which is four string and coal dust in, a, in an alloy smelter. Okay. Four string and coal. Now, of course, to get the uh, pulsating dust is you smelt uraninite dust. Do I have a set of dust still? No. I do need my mortar again for a moment. Go ahead and run the coal through to get the coal dust. Now, do I still have any uraninite? Yes, I do. Did I set up my electric furnace? Do I have an electric furnace yet? Um, well, I have an alloy smelter. Does that count? No, it won't just do it on its own. Of course not. That would be too easy. Um, okay. Gives me the... Hmm? Okay. Of course, that takes three sticks because the way things work. And if we smelt that again, we should get pulsating dust. Yes. And then the alloy smelter first, the string and coal dust goes through, and that'll give us a carbon mesh. And then the carbon mesh goes through with pulsating dust. Oh, don't tell me. It needs four of them! Ah, if I'd have known that. Alright, give me some coal. Give me three more uraninite. I'm gonna have to do this very quickly. One, two, three. Switch over. One, two, three. Okay, I'm gonna run into things. Okay, now we have four pulsating dust in there. Now, electrical steel is going to be the next step. Mm -hmm. And how the hell do we make that? I, of course, need to know how to make electrical steel. Which, this does not tell me how to make it. Steel and silicon. Okay, well, that's pretty simple. I need four electrical steel ingots, which means I need four steel and four silicon. I think I have that. I guess I have 12 steel, but I can use four of that. And I have some silicon. I have one. Ouch. Okay. What can I get it out of? I think it was out of Svelarider. It was a pretty basic recipe. I can't remember which one it was. Let's see here. Um, back up. Made from silicon dust and a steel ingot. Okay, clay, that's right. Okay, and let me guess I don't have very much of that. Well, actually, I do. And if I use my mortar... Until it breaks, I only get six. Okay, well, I need enough to be able to get... Uh, 
I need the usage of clay dust. I need to be able to get four silicon, so I need 14. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Do I have a macerator set up? Yes, I do. I need eight. And wow, I should have remembered that before going to my mortar. I forgot that does that. It does it very quickly, too. Electrolyzer. That's going to take forever. It's going to eat power. We're almost halfway charged, which is nice. But I think at this point we are going to conclude making the blank data model and pick it up in the next episode. In the meantime, thanks for tuning in and watch for the outro. Hey everyone, Arinia here. Thanks so much for watching this latest video out of my channel, and thanks so much to these patrons who, among others, are helping make this content possible by donating at least $10 on my Patreon page. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave a comment. Tell us what we need to do better. If you liked it, still leave a comment. I'm always open to input. If you like the channel, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and join us on the Discord community, link in the description. If you want to support the channel, and I really hope you do, please, down in the description is a link to the Buy Me A Coffee page, which you can donate to for a one-time donation, or the Patreon page, which you can head on to to donate monthly and get perks. In the meantime, this is Irinia saying once again, thanks for watching, 